What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video and it is Wednesday so I have a very awesome tutorial for you guys with a very very cool effect and do you guys see that can right there? I just want to take a little sip of it so I'm gonna go out of the screen and I'm gonna take a little sip And now I'm going to place the can back where it was, right there. So guys, if you want to know how to create this amazing effect, make sure to smash the like button down below. And I would say, let's get started. And I will catch you guys right after the intro. Okay guys, so as you can see right now, I am basically editing the video that you're watching and I'm gonna first show you what you need to do in order to create this amazing effect. So before we're gonna actually start editing this you know, entire clip, we need to shoot it first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to recreate this effect. So as you can see, this is basically my current setup for this video. So what I did is I just set the tripod down right here. So if I place the camera on it, this is basically the angle that you guys saw. So what you need to do is very simple. Set down your camera like this. Then you want to go ahead and sit right here and you want to take a green, you know, fabric or a cloth or anything like that. And you want to create this kind of effect. So it's right here, it's flat and then it goes down and then flat again. So you want to have that that kind of shape. You're gonna reach over it and it's gonna look that your arm is coming out of the screen. So you wanna pick up this can, take it on the other side, and then you wanna do is, you know, do whatever you want. And then you want to, t you know, put it back and it looks that your hand is basically going out of the screen with this effect. So that's what you need to do and that's what I did as well. And once you have done that, you want to go to your computer and right now we're gonna go back upstairs, you know, in Vegas Pro. But I just wanted to show you guys how I all did you know with the studio lights and you know showing you guys how I did it and how I pulled it off this is how it looks at the back that is how you want to basically go ahead and do it so right now we have done everything and right now we're gonna go back to Vegas okay guys so now that we are in our editing software there are basically two things that we need first the green screen clip obviously and then second of all we need a video of ourselves just recording any screen that you have so we're gonna go ahead and drag in those two clips okay those are both clips just a recording of my screen as you can see where I'm gonna come out and this is obviously the recording of us sitting back on the green screen so what we're gonna do first of all is to spice this footage up a little bit is is we're gonna go to video effects brightness and contrast drag the videos template on it or in other words you guys don't have this template because I made this myself so only just bring up the contrast just a little so once we've done that we're gonna go ahead and create a new video track right click insert video track and we're gonna put this guy on top of it then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the very beginning and we're gonna lower the opacity just a little because we need to shrink the video down until it fits in the monitor right here. So we're gonna go to the track motion icon of the green screen part. We're gonna uh, shrink this guy down until I would say, let's see where it would fit. I think I'm gonna also tilt it just a little bit because it, so it looks very straight like that this one looks very very nice so the second thing we need to do is we need to mask off all the access footage so we're going to click on the event pan crop icon of the green screen we are going to click on mask at the very bottom which is right here mask then we want to pick this guy uh, the rectangle or square mask creation tool drag this guy over it over the entire video then the cropping begins we're gonna put our mouse right here and then we're gonna just crop this guy until it looks like it's on the monitor like that so as you can see we're gonna also do that for the other side like this and now it is looking like it's played back on the monitor so once we've done that we just want to go ahead and close this out again and then we need to go ahead and remove this green so we're gonna go to the video effects tab 
click on chroma key, pick the default, drag it on top of the green screen clip, and then we want to uncheck chroma key for a second. Then we're going to click on this blue line or blue box, how you want to call it, pick this pencil icon, click on a nice green part, I would say like that, click on it again, you want to just check it again, the chroma key, then you want to bring down the high threshold until it looks very nice. Then you want to bring up the low threshold to, you know, remove all the blue like that or the purple like this. So once we've done that, this is what it looks like. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video and it is Wednesday. So I have a very awesome tutorial for you guys with a very, very cool effect. And do you guys see that can right there? I just want to take a little sip of it. So I'm going to go out of the screen. I'm going to take a little sip. And now I'm going to place the can back where it was, right there. So guys, if you want to know how to create this amazing effect. So guys, that's how to do it. It is very, very simple. Just drag in the footage, crop it down until it looks like it is on the screen. Just resize it, remove the green part, and then it actually looks like your arm is going out of the monitor. It is that simple and that mind blowing as well. I'm so proud of this tutorial because I have never done anything like this on the channel before. If you guys guys want to see more of those tutorials make sure to just subscribe down below and enable the notifications so you will get a, a notification obviously when I'm uploading a brand new video so that's it guys I want to thank you for watching thank you for the continuous support that's it guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video